Manafort returning to federal court for another sentencing. Video by Today Washington U former Trump campaign chairman Paul Manafort faces his second sentencing hearing in as many weeks, with a judge expected to tack on additional prison time beyond the roughly four-year punishment he has already received. Manafort, 69, faces up to 10 additional years in prison when he is sentenced Wednesday in Washington in special counsel Robert Mueller's investigation into ties between the Trump campaign and Russia. A judge in Virginia last week to 47 months in prison, far below sentencing guidelines that allowed for more than two decades in prison, prompting national debate about disparities in how rich and poor defendants are treated by the criminal justice system. As U.S. District Judge Amy Behrman Jackson in Washington decides whether the sentences should run consecutively or at the same time, she is likely to take into account allegations by prosecutors that Manafort tampered with witnesses after he was charged and that he lied to investigators even after he pleaded guilty and pledged to cooperate. The hearing may offer a window into tantalizing allegations that aren't part of the criminal cases against him but have nonetheless surfaced in recent court filings you that Manafort shared Trump campaign polling data with Konstantin Kilinik, a business associate the U.S. says has ties to Russian intelligence, and that the two men met secretly during the campaign in an encounter that prosecutors say cuts to. The sentencing hearings for Manafort mark a bookend of sorts for Mueller's investigation as it inches toward a conclusion. Manafort and Biz Wednesday's sentencing comes in a week of activity for the investigation. Mueller's prosecu the Mueller team has prosecuted Manafort in both Washington and Virginia related to his foreign consulting work on behalf of a pro-Russia Ukrainian political party. Manafort was con the decision by U.S. District Judge T.S. Ellis 3 to send if Manafort has been jailed since last June when Behrman Jackson revoked his house arrest over allegations that he and Kilinick sought to influence witnesses by trying to get them to testify in a certain way.